The Role of Blockchain in Technology Beyond Cryptocurrency Welcome to Tech Talk, your go-to channel for all things technology. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking topic, the role of blockchain and technology beyond cryptocurrency. A blockchain is essentially a distributed ledger, a growing list of records known as blocks that are linked and secured using cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. This structure makes transactions irreversible and secure. These blockchains are managed by a peer-to-peer -peer network acting as a public ledger that adheres to a consensus protocol for validating new transactions. While blockchain technology initially gained fame with Bitcoin, its potential has since inspired a wide range of other applications. These include public ledgers and new forms of secure decentralized transactions. The debate between private and public blockchains continues. Some view privatized blockchains skeptically, questioning their security models. However, others argue that when designed carefully, they can provide greater security and even more decentralization than permissionless ones. Stay tuned for an in-depth look at blockchain technology right here on Tech Talk. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the ever-evolving world of technology. Let's take a quick journey through the history of blockchain technology. It all began with cryptographer David Chom, who in 1982 proposed a blockchain-like protocol in his dissertation. He envisioned computer systems that could be established and maintained by mutually suspicious groups laying the groundwork for blockchain technology. Fast forward to 1991, Stuart Haber and W. Scott Stornetta introduced a cryptographically secured chain of blocks. Their goal was to create a system where document timestamps couldn't be tampered with. In 1992, along with Dave Bayer, they improved this system by incorporating Merkle trees, enhancing efficiency by grouping several document certificates into one block. This technology took a practical turn with their company, Surety, and its application has been evident with the weekly publication of document certificate hashes in the New York Times since 1995. The concept of a decentralized blockchain was then revolutionized by an individual or group known as Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. Nakamoto's design, using a hash cash like method, eliminated the need for a trusted party to timestamp blocks. This design became a cornerstone of Bitcoin, serving as the public ledger for all network transactions. The growth of a blockchain technology is impressive. By 2014, the blockchain file size containing all network transaction records reached 20 GB. This size nearly doubled by 2015 and continued to grow exponentially, surpassing 200 GB by early 2020. It's interesting to note that the terms block and chain were initially separately used in Satoshi Nakamoto's original paper, but had merged into the single word blockchain by 2016. Adoption of blockchain technology has been notable, especially in financial services. According to Accenture, by 2016, blockchains had achieved a 13.5% percent adoption rate within this sector, entering the early adopters phase. This year also saw the formation of the Global Blockchain Forum, an initiative by industry trade groups. However, Gartner's findings in 2018 revealed that blockchain adoption was still in its infancy, with only 1% of CIOs reporting blockchain use in their organizations. By 2019, the perception of blockchain as a game changer had grown, with 5% of CIOs acknowledging its potential impact on their businesses. Today, there are currently five different types of blockchain in use. Number one, public blockchains. Public blockchains are completely open and anyone with an internet connection can participate in transactions and validation processes. They typically use proof-of-stake or proof-of-work algorithms and provide economic incentives to those who secure the network. Examples include the Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains, which are some of the most well-known public blockchains. 
Number two, private blockchains. In contrast to public blockchains, private blockchains are permissioned. This means one cannot join unless explicitly invited by the network administrators. Access for participants and validators is restricted, making them more exclusive. Private blockchains are often referred to as distributed ledger technology, DLT, to differentiate them from open blockchains and other peer-to-peer -peer decentralized database applications. Number three, hybrid blockchains. Hybrid blockchains combine elements of both centralized and decentralized systems. The specifics of how they operate can vary depending on the mix of centralized and decentralized features they incorporate. This type offers a balance between the openness of public blockchains and the control of private ones. Number four, sidechains. A sidechain is a separate blockchain that is connected to a primary blockchain. It runs in parallel, allowing entries from the primary blockchain to be linked to and from it. Sidechains operate independently of the primary blockchain and may use different methods of record keeping or consensus algorithms. They enable the primary blockchain to offload transactions and use cases to a secondary chain without compromising the primary chain's performance or security. Number five, consortium blockchains. These are a mix of public and private blockchains. A consortium blockchain is managed by a group of organizations rather than a single entity. Members of the consortium jointly manage the network and are responsible for validating transactions. They are permissioned, ensuring controlled access and confidentiality. Consortium blockchains are popular in industries where collaboration is essential, such as in supply management or financial services. They offer efficiency and scalability with enhanced security and reliability due to the joint management by consortium members. Examples of consortium blockchains include Quorum and Hyperledger. The uses of blockchain. Blockchain technology, most famously the backbone of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, has widely been associated with digital currencies. However, its potential stretches much further. Beyond the well-trodden paths of cryptocurrency, blockchain harbors a myriad of lesser-known yet equally promising applications. These emerging uses, though not as mainstream as cryptocurrency, are steadily gaining traction and could soon become pivotal in various sectors. From redefining financial services to innovating in gaming and revolutionizing supply chain management, blockchain stands as a versatile and powerful tool. As we delve deeper, we uncover how blockchain's capabilities extend far beyond its initial financial context, offering new opportunities and solutions across industries. Some of the main uses of the blockchain beyond cryptocurrency are smart contracts. Blockchain-based smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms directly written into code. They don't require a trusted intermediary, such as a trustee, to execute, reducing friction in value transfer and enabling higher transaction automation. While widely recognized for their potential, the practical application of smart contracts is still evolving, with their legal status remaining somewhat unclear. Financial services. Many banks are exploring distributed ledgers for banking, with a particular interest in speeding up back office settlement systems. Financial institutions like UBS have established research labs to explore blockchain's potential in financial services. However, there are varying opinions on its efficacy, with some considering blockchain overhyped and lacking in successful large-scale implementations. Initial coin offerings and security token offerings. The rise of blockchain has enabled new forms of digital assets like ICOs and STOs. These are used for tokenizing traditional assets like shares or real estate and innovative assets like intellectual property or art. This sector is growing, providing compliant tokenization and private or public STOs. Supply chain management. Blockchain is actively being tested in supply chain management for various industries. It's used in precious commodities, mining, to track the origins of items like gemstones. Retail giants like Walmart are trialing blockchain for food supply monitoring. In the fashion industry, it's being used for transparency in brand, distributor, customer relationships. 
The automotive industry, including companies like Mercedes-Benz, is exploring blockchain for ethical supply chain documentation and emissions tracking. Domain names. Blockchain is also changing the landscape of domain name services. Cryptocurrencies like Namecoin have introduced alternative domain name systems outside traditional ICANN controls. While such initiatives face challenges, they offer new possibilities for uncensorable web presences. Other applications. Blockchain scope extends to various sectors, including music distribution, insurance, the sharing economy, and IoT. It offers new distribution methods and insurance, supports peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, and enhances IoT networks' efficiency. In addition, blockchain can be crucial in anti-counterfeiting measures, providing a secure and unforgeable record of transactions and product authenticity. Global adoption and legal considerations. Cities like Beijing and Shanghai are trialing blockchain applications, and it has been accepted in Chinese legal proceedings for authenticating internet evidence. However, the integration of blockchain technology in various sectors requires careful consideration of legal standards and additional technologies for its effective implementation. In conclusion, while blockchain technology gained prominence through cryptocurrency, its applications are proving to be far-reaching and transformative across various industries. From streamlining financial transactions and enhancing supply chain transparency, blockchain is unfolding as a multifaceted tool with potential yet to be fully realized. As we witness its evolution, it's clear that the impact of blockchain technology extends well beyond digital currencies, opening doors to novel and efficient solutions across multiple sectors. What do you think is the most promising application of blockchain technology outside of cryptocurrency? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's discuss how blockchain could reshape our future.